Hey everyone, it's Azure Gaming here, back here with another video for World of Kings. Do not forget to like and subscribe for more video content in the future. So, today I'm going to tell you a little bit how to do your mech burnout for your carnival, uh, Guild Siege, and how to get to Guild Siege and go to the enemy's territory. Uh, we're going to try to make this a quick video, as quick as possible. Uh, don't like super long videos for you guys, but we're going to go ahead and click on Go to Castle. It's right next to Guild Siege at, on the Guild tab. I did that really quick, but I'm going to go ahead and show you once again. Open up your guild. You'll see Leave Castle. That's where Go to Castle is, and then Guild Siege on the bottom. If you click on Guild Siege, and once you do this, Guild Invasions start coming up, Secret Invasions starts coming up, and you'll, you'll make enemies. People will be hostile towards you. You'll make enemies by declaring war, or people will declare war on you. So right now, our castle over here is for Prestige. And you'll see Prestige over here next to Gladiators, who we declared war on because they, de they have been hostile towards us. And as you see here, uh, Gladiators has turned hostile against we, meaning us. So we declared war on them. We attacked them yesterday for a secret invasion. And we have another secret invasion right now. Ever since we started Guild Siege and put our castle somewhere, uh, secret invasion has came up. So once you get your guild leader to do that, or if you are a guild leader, go to guild seed, start it up, and I think guild secret evasions will start for you, or declare war. And then you'll see something like this. Click under your map, you'll see event news, right? You'll see invasion, secret invasion guild, you'll see invasion uh, bombardment and transport resources. So click on secret invasion, and you'll have mech burnout, mine shaft sabotage, and then stone thief. Click on accept. Once you click on accept, uh, start. You'll start running towards the enemy faction, and then you will see enemies there. You'll probably PVP some. You'll probably, uh, you know, just be there alone with your guild. But as soon as you get there, the first thing you want to do is collect all the quests around you around that portal that you're in, that little safe area, there's gonna be a whole bunch of NPCs with exclamation marks. You wanna go ahead and collect those quests so you can do those quests. Uh, there'll be some mining quests, there'll be some like some airplane bombing quests, and then there'll be your, excuse me, your mech burnout quest. Pretty simple to do. I did one yesterday, as you see here, for the carnival event, and then you'll see uh, mech burn um, guild, Completed mech burnout, complete mech burnout twice, right? Uh, I did it once out of twice because I did one yesterday. You only could do it once, and then I'm gonna do it today. And as you see here, uh, the pet automatically takes me to this area right here, which allows me to go to enemy guild. And now I'm in the enemy guild. All right, these are this is where the gladiators are. This is their castle. And now I'm gonna go ahead and. You know, you could talk to these people right here. There's a, there'll be sometimes quests, and we're gonna go ahead and talk talk to the, talk to this guy again because uh, we need to go to enemy guild. I was just showing you that there'll be quests around our NPCs for the enemies, but when you're in the enemy guild, there'll be quests around their NPCs for you. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on this guy, this guy. Or this girl and this guy right here or this female <laughs> and Tannis right here okay and then you'll see Tannis he'll have uh, a couple of options here for you uh, bomb uh, special tracking bomb go ahead and load those up and then when you're flying in the airplane you're gonna want to hit the red NPCs on the ground and the buildings uh, I think you have a certain amount of ammo so be wise of how much you use okay so we're going to go ahead and go up this hill. I already know where the mechs are, so I don't need an auto path. I'm just going to walk. You have these scouts here. Don't worry about them. They don't hit a lot of, da a lot of damage, and they don't, it, and they're not hard to kill. All right. See how easy this is? Pretty easy to kill over here, and this guy's going to go down with that, with that uh, frost boat. So uh, we're going to go ahead and move up, uh, teleport over here, do a little flip, and these are where the mechs are. You're gonna once you burn, you're gonna torch this mech right here. It's real easy, and then there we have it. Burnout complete. Uh, we're gonna have open up the carnival, and you see completed mech burnout. Once you turn in this quest, 
uh, you should get that completed right there. Let's go right back down and check out that burnout quest. Uh, you probably can open up the event tab over here underneath the map, click on it, and then hit make burnout, and then go back, and then it will auto path for you, right? So it's 100 meters away. Turn that in, and then you'll get your carnival points. And then it's really easy to do your carnival. Uh, most people think it's hard. Just click on your carnival. Uh, I mean, right here, this is a uh, this is kind of difficult to difficult to uh, know how to do. For you, you have to tell your guild leader to start the guild siege probably, and you probably wouldn't know to. You probably wouldn't know that it's in guild siege the mech burnout, so that probably will bother you some. So I hope this helps you out. Uh, get your guild leader or join a guild that's in guild war, and get started. Uh, do not forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and continue doing my quest. I'm going to go right now and collect my burnout. I'm at 182 points, roughly 18 points away from getting my dragon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.